Howdy. Our sixth graders are about to start building ukuleles. They're making a box ukulele, so it can be a box guitar if you want. Uh, it's just a different set of strings. So I'm gonna post the lessons as they happen. And in this first lesson, I'm gonna show you all the materials you're gonna need. So we are building a box ukulele. You can see the box because we don't want sixth graders bending wood over a hot flame just yet maybe on their second one. Uh, this one with the curved sides was built around a gourd. The cool thing about the box ukulele is that they can put any facade soundboard they want in whatever shape to personalize it, but it still has the box in the back. And just remember that if you would prefer to build a box guitar, it's the same exact concept. So let's look at the materials you're gonna need. This is a piece of one by two poplar. It's actually one and a half inches wide. So uh, that's the perfect width for a fretboard. You're gonna need about two feet of it. This is Luan ply. It's been ripped to one and five eighths of an inch and it's gonna make up our sides. You're gonna need about two feet of that. These are one half by one half pine and we're going to use that as the kerfing. The kerfing glues to the soundboard and also acts as the bracing. You're gonna need another piece of Luan. This is a short piece, it's only about 10 inches long and it's ripped to one and a half inch width, the same as the neck. And this is a piece of cherry, which I found from a specialty wood supply company and uh, it's one and a half inches wide too. It's gonna to go on top. You're gonna to need some frets. You can get that from Stuart McDonald. And a couple more pieces of Luan are gonna make the soundboard and the backboard. You're gonna need, this is a, uh, a piece of molding, which I'm gonna use as the bridge. And I was just kind of poking around in this store and it looked like a good shape and it turned out to be just right. Of course, you're gonna need some strings. We like these strings because they have balls on the end uh, so that we can make a little hole for the balls to fit into and it makes it much easier to string up that way. And of course, you're gonna need some tuning pegs. Here's some of the specialty tools. This I made myself. It's a fret template to make sure your frets are in the correct place. You're gonna get your fret measurements from the Stuart McDonald fret calculator. And uh, here's some other specialty tools you're gonna to need. A fret hammer, some uh, nippers, a fret miter box, and a fretting saw. You're also gonna need some other shop tools like a rasp and an electric drill. And if you have a miter saw, that would be great. And just various other things you probably have already like a file. So we're ready to start. I'd suggest you get all of your materials before you begin. Okay, good luck.